Hi, let me introduce you to become an honorary member of the Plate Turners Club. If you want to spot a Stokey anywhere in the world, if you're sitting in a restaurant and you're having your meal like this, and then you see somebody go, they're from Stoke. And we are the Plate Turners Club because we're proud potters. When we turn our plates, everybody's looking that it's made in Stoke-on-Trent. This is a series about a city and the people fighting to change its story. Let's begin with the story that was written for Stoke a year ago, when the media descended on the city for what was billed as the Brexit by-election. OK, to Stoke-on-Trent right now. Famed for its potteries and now hit badly by austerity and post-industrial decline. Almost 70% of voters here opted to leave the EU. This is the capital of Brexit. It was an overload, an overload of really negative stereotypes of our city. I felt like a goldfish in a bowl and felt a bit patronised, to be honest, by the end of it. There's so many people who want so much more for the city. You can't just relax and sort of rest on our laurels and say, this is, this is good enough, this is good enough for the city, this representation that the media are building. I made one of those films from Stoke-on-Trent during the by-election. I blame the whole fucking government, mate. I had some comments like this and phone calls like this. You'd gone to find the worst bits of my city. The film added to that perception of Stoke-on-Trent and it pisses me off. That was Danny Flynn, head of Stoke's YMCA. We've had the phone call, we smoked the old peace pipe. He challenged me to come back to Stoke-on-Trent. Sharpen your bloody pencil. Having transformed the YMCA in Stoke, Danny is now determined to transform people's perceptions of the whole hey, city. Hey. In order to understand Stoke, you have to get into it, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So this is the Sky Room, one of my strange ideas, and this gives you a, a, the best view of my city. We wanted to make a statement in the YMCA. Can we give people the wow factor rather than the perception of Stoke as a bit of a shithole? Well, compared to, you know, some places, it's tougher. Rather than waiting for the government white charger to come over the horizon and sort us out, we've got to do it for ourselves. Little entrepreneurial things are going to change this city, and it's happening. This series will follow some of the people doing those entrepreneurial things. But I also wanted to go back and find Cayman, the star of that first by-election film. You're seeing your mum and everyone else struggle. It makes you better, you know what I mean, towards society. And all throughout my life, I've had to pay my own way. You know what I mean? I didn't have someone there who was helping me. I didn't have family around to get me. All I had was me. You got so, the case in. Mm. I mean, people take one look and they'll, they'll be like, oh yeah, tracksuit. They might judge me on colour or how I speak. They'll look at someone in the first five seconds and they'll make up their mind about you. And it's hard to shake that off. Cayman has recently come out of prison and is determined to turn his life around. Break the cycle. I feel like I'm going to be the person to do that, you know what I mean? I break, break away from certain stereotypes, I'm going to prove them wrong. The Stoke Central by-election was actually a really awful time for us as a city. But actually it's almost spurred people on the other way to say, I want to be out there. Just give us your name and spell it and your position in life, I'm please. I'm Councillor Abby Brown, that's uh, Councillor Abby, A-B-I, Brown. The council have teamed up with some leading Stokies for an experimental stunt involving a duck. Yeah, the curvature of the air. Uh, yeah, yeah. Today we are submitting the final bid of Stoke on Trent's bid for UK City of Culture and because we think our city is so great, we're sending our bid into space. They are launching Stoke's bid to become the next UK City of Culture. I'm Eddie Hoare, the world's strongest man, and this duck is going into space. Wish us luck then, guys. between steelworks and pottery. We were, and we still are, one of the greatest hands-on cities in the entire country. Continue that work, it's not over. The duck is a symbol of Stoke-on-Trent, and sending it into space marks the city's dreams of a bold new era. Their mission is to change the way their city is perceived from the inside and the outside. Places like Stoke have been written off as Brexit land, the left behind, post-industrial. But if we change the way we look, maybe we will see something new. 
But what's your series called? Made in Stoke on Trent. Made in Stoke on Trent. Is that what you want me to say? Yeah. Radio. A bit of a menacing tone. Um, there's a series coming out called Made in Stoke on Trent, and if you don't watch it, I'm going to come knocking on your door, and you're going to regret it. Okay? It's great, doesn't it? <laughs>